been a while, hasn't it? New apartment. New glasses. New look on life, you might say. Um, I've got a couple of vlogs that are going to be coming soon to the online world, be it on Facebook or YouTube. Um, obviously, the big one, of course, is going to be the top 10 favorite things about 2011 and the top 10 lists of 2011. Now, what I have to say right now is um, there's been a lot of talk about me being a hermit, you might say, not really going out as much as I used to, and there's a very good reason for that. It's because I have a new job where from Wednesday through Saturday I work 5 in the morning till 3 in the afternoon. That means that from Tuesday through Friday nights I'm typically going to bed at about 8 or 8.30. So I really can't go out as much as I want to and it's even worse it seems on Saturdays because even though at 3 o'clock it's technically the start of my weekend I'm not all that into going out and partying which in more recent um, terms the fact that I wasn't able to go to the Everything 80s meetup um, toga party and that was because I was just completely beat after this week I worked 50 hours that's right, I actually worked five days this week instead of my normal four days a week. So I went to bed actually at about 10 o'clock the other night and I woke up at 8 a.m. today. And I'm really hoping that this gets somewhat fixed, you might say, because I don't want to be doing that at such a young age. I'm not even 30 years old yet and now I'm in a regiment where I'm waking up in the middle of the night and I'm going to bed before the sun's even gone down completely some nights. So um, if there's a fine balance that I can work out some point in the next couple weeks, okay. If not, just try and bear with me, okay? A um, couple shout outs I want to give right now. Uh, first and foremost to my good friend, my best friend actually here in Las Vegas, Paul Seavey. He just recently got his second degree at the uh, Art Institute of Las Vegas. So great job, Paul. You deserve it. Uh, another shout out I'd like to give to a good friend of mine in the online world out there, Mr. Brandon Hardesty. Brandon recently did a video, um, it was an audition he was doing for the, um, a sort of a mock-up audition for the popular YouTube video, I believe it's uh, David After the Dentist, where a little boy is being driven home after his uh, dentist appointment and he's describing it. And this kid must be about seven or eight years old and Brandon went and took it like a serious Shakespearean actor. He even dubbed himself as Sir Brandon Hardesty. So um, he's doing good. You are doing good, Brandon. I direct that uh, to you. You know, I know you've been going through some hardships trying to find the acting gigs, and I know you recently moved back to your hometown of Baltimore. So I just want to tell you, man, you know, best of luck to you. You know, we've all had to do things this year to try and make ends meet, try to make things work. You know, I myself am no longer doing the stuff that really is my passion, which is working in television and radio. I'm working for a tour company and it's called Adventure Photo Tours and you can even check them out online adventurephototours.com they're actually even though they're a little mom and pop shop they are the leading tour company and limo provider in Las Vegas they are the number one source for limo uh, for the CES show and that's huge and they've been in business a little over 10 years now and I work for them as sort of a tour reservationist slash dispatcher. I help take phone calls and email bookings for tours that people want to go uh, see the Grand Canyon, uh, Hoover Dam, Death Valley, Valley of Fire, Area 51, the list goes on. But definitely, if you have a chance, check out the website. It's, it's pretty good and informative. And you can definitely go ahead and book it online. And the prices are pretty reasonable, considering what most tour companies charge for tours. 
even limos, you know, I mean, you would spend more on a taxi cab ride from your hotel to the airport. Believe me, the limo service that we provide really is good. So check us out. Do us business. Tell them Phil sent you. <laughs> um, trying to think of anyone else I want to acknowledge. Um, I guess I'd like to give a special shout out to some people back east who have been uh, keeping in touch with me that have really kind of, you know, help pull me out of a funk that I was in a while back regarding relationships and whatnot. Um, I'd like to give some special shout outs to Jen Cutney from uh, Brandywine High School, class of 2002. Hey, I hope to see you at the reunion. It's it's coming up. 2012 is, you know, less than a year away now. And, you know, I'm really sort of gung-ho about that. And I think one of the other big things I'm going to try and start doing is, you know, hit the gym a lot more. You know, I didn't want to become one of those people who said, I can't go to my reunion until I've lost so and so many pounds. But, you know, I'd really like to start doing that a lot more. You know, it's just that kind of discipline that I'm kind of light lacking. So I got to push myself to really do that more. Uh, Sheena Baker. Sheena Baker from Shippensburg University, class of 2006, I believe, unless you were 2005. I know you were maybe a year ahead of me, but you are always keeping me in good spirits. And you know what? There. I poke you. I poke you again. I keep poking you. This war will never end, will it? <laughs> But you always keep me in good spirits, you know, you always are keeping me, you know, in a good humor with all the constant poking. So, um, I thank you for that. A um, couple of the people who look out for me back east, uh, I guess I should mention names. You know, I just want to mention you because, you know, you are always checking in on me. Uh, Matt Grossclose, Scott Hirschberger, uh, Dr. Joseph Burrell, uh, Trevor Stottlemyre, Rusty Roberts, you know, you guys are great, you know, I really appreciate hearing from you, you know, all you guys and gals in the comm journey department looking out for me, seeing how I've been, you know, it's been a wild ride, but, uh, you know, I'm making it work, you know, as bumpy as the road has been, things are going to turn out all right, I'm sure. So, all I can really say at this point, I just want to, you know, give you a little tour here. I'm going to give you a little sneak peek of my new apartment. I don't believe I've posted pictures of an apartment I've lived in since my very first one back in April of 2008. So, I'm going to give you a little tour here. So, let's check this out. This is my living room area. Nice, wide open space here. Got my TV set up there with my rock band drums all set up computer in front of a fireplace that of course I don't use why would I this is Las Vegas and a uh, mantelpiece that I've come to use for all my uh, hardback books here and a couple other odds and ends my Caddyshack trivia game thank you Julie for that one and uh, one of the holy grails for Godfather fans the Godfather trilogy VHS uh, collection which combines all three Godfather films chronologically Taking a look around here, got my Quadrophenia album poster up there. The uh, dining room area, I don't really use this that much, but uh, it's always good to have a few extra chairs and a table, I say. My Big Bang Theory poster up there on the wall. Kitchen main area with microwave and oven and stove, refrigerator. Got an extra microwave here. Dishwasher, sink. In through this door here. The laundry area, got my washer and dryer. Walking this way, more posters as you can see. My Grindhouse poster there, and my Pulp Fiction poster. Plus my poster from seeing Passion Pit in concert last December with my friend Lily. Hot Tub Time Machine mini poster, I got at the premiere. And if you can't figure out that reference there, July 3rd, 1985, Look up when Back to the Future came out, and then you'll get it. Bathroom area, I won't give you too much of an in-depth look at that. My bedroom area here, let's actually turn the light on. There we go. Got the ceiling fan, which of course I always enjoy. An old Danger Phillips room sign I had back when I lived back east. Devo poster for the latest album, Something for Everybody, one of my favorites from last year. TV and dresser there, my clerk's poster, FM poster, blind area here, nice view outside actually, Quadrophenia the movie poster, my Who poster, Animal House poster, Who in concert at the Wachovia Center, 
my WSYC award for doing my programming director gig, Laurel and Hardy autograph picture, of course not genuine autograph but replica, and another Who poster outlining their complete discography and biographies. And that's pretty much it. Um, I enjoy living here. I've been living here since about oh, July 27th, I'd say. And um, like I said, you know, I enjoy it. I'm making life work. And as bumpy as road it has been, I gotta say, I would not really be able to have survived it had not been for you people out there watching and supporting me, all my good friends. And so I. Camera's shaking there. Sorry. I've got this thing stacked on like a whole bunch of books and some CD towers. That's uh, because I don't have a tripod. Hint, hint for a Hanukkah gift. So in closing, I'd just like to say, as always, stay tuned for more updates in the life of Phil Smith, tour reservationist, dispatcher, actor, singer, dancer, karaokeer, and all around just fun guy. So until then, thank you for watching. Stay tuned.